Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So basically in today's video, bitches, you might be watching this on Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day if you are, if you're single. Go out and celebrate like you're single, like go and get some beep, 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 beep. Can't say that word. Um, but yeah, like if you're single, make it your own day like have fun put some makeup on if you like makeup like do whatever you want if you're in a relationship spoil your other person <laughs> i was like what am i spoiling um unfortunately i can't spoil sam because i just have like no money <laughs> so i love that for me so much no i actually really wish i could spoil him because i know what to get him and his birthday is coming up and i can't get him anything because i have no money so i love that for me but anyway if you can spoil them i go out spoil them buy them chocolates buy them roses buy them jewelry buy them whatever they want because they deserve it but yeah, I do really like Valentine's Day because obviously I do have someone to celebrate it with. And I wanted to do three Valentine's Day looks this week. And I did my first one and I do apologise that it was a time lapse. I was just like completely like not okay um, mentally. So I like, like if I taught during that video it would have been like, and I'm just going to blend my shadow like, yeah. Like, that would be what I would be like. So I just thought, I'm going to do a time lapse. Bing, bang, bush. It's out in the world. People really did enjoy it and hope that I got better. I am now better, so I'm going to shut up now and let's jump into this video. I'm going to do an anti-Valentine's Day look. If you want to see that, then just keep on watching. Okay, so to start off, I've primed my eyelids. I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit as well because... I haven't got any foundation on it, it's just a little bit ugly. But I did this look the other day on Instagram, um, inspired by the cars off of the Seven Rings video from Ariana Grande. And I really like that eye shape, so I do want to try do that again. Um, today I'll be using the Creepy Cute palette by Strobe Cosmetics. Um, someone requested that I use it, so I really think it's going to be good for this look. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start off with the eyes. We're going to do the eyes really quickly, and then we'll move on to the face. Hi balls, hopefully it focuses on my eye and not my ear. It just likes to focus on my ear for some reason. I love that for me, not really. Um, okay, cool. If you focus on my eye, I'll be very happy. Um, right, so I've primed my eyes with my MAC Painted Paint Pot. <laughs> and I am going to just throw straight in with Creepy Cute. So, first shade I'm going to use, if I can open it is cold shoulder. I'm going to give you guys the cold shoulder and I'm going to use that colour. And I'm just going to go in with a small Morphe brush. This is from the Jaclyn Hill. It's the JH39. It's just a small precise brush that I can get in a precise area with. So that is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go in with cold shoulder. These colours are pigmented. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, cool. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to work my way up above my normal crease see like look at that one dip and like boom there's the pigment that I want in the door like yes please we stand a pigment to show and I'm just going to slowly blend around the edges so it gives it like fluffy look because I want this to look neon I'm going to draw a white line in the middle a little bit later on but yeah, I'm going to try and make it as fluffy as I can on the outside so it gives it that effect that like a neon light's on. So yeah. But yeah, like this palette, oh my god, so good, like so worth the money. They always have like 20% off things as well. So yeah, I really highly recommend this palette. It's so good. Um, next I'm going to go into the shade Planchette, which is this purple. Um, I mean they're all pastel colors but yeah pastel purple and i'm going to pop that next door to that blue i'm going to come down a little bit and i'm going to go like whoop oh my god i need to tweeze the hell out of my eyebrows i'm going to do that in a second but yeah i'm just stamping this color on next to that blue so that they blend in nicely together i'm just making sure that that shape 
is the one that I want because it is really hard, not really hard, it's really easy to stuff up the shape I find with these kind of looks. But with that Ariana Grande one, I was really messy with it and it's kind of like a messy look anyway, so it was okay. But like, I'm gonna try be more precise today and see how we go. Oh my God, I'm not on camera. I might zoom you guys out a little bit because I feel like I'm gonna go out of camera a lot because I keep forgetting that I'm zoomed in. So I'm just gonna keep you guys there. Right, I'm just gonna go off camera and pluck all of this. Oh my God, I have a lot of plucking to do and I'll be right back. Okay, and then the last shade that I'm going to go in with is a Strawberry Milk, which makes me thirsty, but it's the pink shade, of course. And I'm going to pop that right at the end to create the tail. Right, and I'm also going to start drawing the triangle here. down to like back of, back to my eye because I want to I don't know I just that's the shape I'm going for right and then underneath the eyes I'm gonna go back in with that purple pop that right there my camera focusing noise is just the worst like I'm so sorry but it's like a ticking um, but like if I turn it off, it won't focus on me at all. So, ugh, it's just life. Now I'm going in with the blue. Now I'm going in with the blue and just finishing that eye off. To finish it off, obviously we want to make it look like it's neon. So I'm going to go in with a white liner. I have the one from NYX. Where is it right now? Like I can't see it. There, burning into the paper. Um, I have the one from NYX. Um, also you could lose also you could use Drug Lord from Jeffree Star. I'm gonna put Drug Lord in my waterline because I don't think this is eye safe. It doesn't say anywhere that it is like eye safe, like waterline safe. But I will get Drug Lord and I'll put that in my waterline as well. I'm just gonna do this off camera because it's so precise. But yeah, I'll be right back. And hopefully we're looking a little bit more neon. <laughs> okay, so the eyes are all done. And I've just popped Ice Cold in the inner corner. And I've popped Drug Lord in my waterline. And also on my lashes, I thought it looked cool. So that is the eyes done. Um, hopefully I can like fix the lines on Facetune. Or, well, I don't have Facetune, so I use Pixar. But yeah, hopefully I can fix the lines. So they look a lot better in photos, but I think it looks all right. Um, next, I'm gonna go in with the hearts. So like, this is very inspired by Cole Carrigan, like both looks, like he did a look the other week, which the other day, literally the other day, where it was liner and he had like a heartbeat across his face and it looks so cool. So that's inspiration for the eyes. And then for the face, I'm gonna do the ones where he did the hearts on his face, um, where he did like the pastel hearts. Obviously I'm gonna use the pastel palette for the hearts, but I'm gonna stick these in like random positions and um, go in with like a color close to my skin tone. It's not, definitely not close to my skin tone at all, but Courtney is the only like skin tone color I could find because I don't really do neutrals if you haven't already but I'm gonna grab that and I'm just going to show you one on camera and I'll do the rest off camera because otherwise it'll be forever but I'm just gonna grab Courtney on a big brush like this and I'm just gonna go like around it so I can see roughly where the heart is and then hopefully I can just like blend the shadow out so it looks seamless so let's see if that works mm, kind of <laughs> kind of not you go in a lot darker. But yeah, basically I want the shadow of the heart. So I can see it like that. And then I have a rough idea where to put the heart and hopefully I can blend that out so it doesn't look so harsh. But yeah, I'm gonna do that with about a few hearts. I'm not sure how many yet, but I'll do that and I'll be right back. 
Right, so I've just got all the shadows around my face so I know where to put the heart. Hopefully it doesn't look so obvious when the hearts are coloured in, but I'm going to colour the hearts in with a colour. So I'm just going to go in with like each colour from the pastel palette that is pastel, obviously not the black and the grey, and I'm going to colour the hearts in. Okay, I've come up with the solution. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with a darker colour of whatever colour I'm going in with to do the outline and then I'll go in with the pastel colour in the middle. I'm just going to do it off camera though because it's going to take me five ever to do it on camera. Um, and then I will show you, oh, I could do a time lapse for you. Let's do a time lapse so you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, so my camera cut out and I was like halfway through and I did lose my heart for a hot minute. So we'll just not cut, put that in. So there's no time lapse. So yeah, I've just got all the hearts on my face. It did take quite a while. Um, and now they're going to do the little cute little sayings that are on the hearts. So I've got meh, forget you, no thanks, gross, ew, nah, and bye. Because can't get more lovey-dovey than that. Like less opposite of lovey-dovey. I don't know. You know what I mean. Um, let's move on anyway. I'm going to grab a liner. So I'm just going to get the quick flick liner. Actually, I don't think it's a quick flick. I think it's just the winged wing liner. Um, I'm not going to get that side. That's the wrong side. That side. And then I'm going to start drawing them. So what I learned from doing writing on my face is I have to do it backwards. So that's so much fun for me. And let's just do it. Do you know what I mean? So we're going to write meh. Um, I'm scared. Backwards. We want an E that's backwards. And then we want an M. <gasps> no, I fucked it up. No, oh my god, no. And um, we're just going to ignore that one and we're going to move on. <laughs> I'm going to do eel here because I think it's going to be funny. So basically it's like W E and then a backwards E. that say ew? I hope so. Um, we'll find out when editing. Um, okay, the only ones that worked out were these four. <sighs> anyway, moving on. I'm gonna do a little bit of highlighter and I'm gonna do my lips off camera. I'm going to put this shade on Breakfast at Tiffany's by Jeffree Star and I'll be right back and then I'll decide if I want to upload this or not. <laughs> okay guys, I did quite a bit of camera sauce but I'm not really happy with this look, but I'm going to put it up anyway. Um, I did breakfast at Tiffany's on the lips with a little bit of Drug Lord ombre in the middle. And then I did my eyebrows with my Cabral, um, ice cold as highlight. And I think that's all I did off camera. And that is the finished look. I'm absolutely happy with the eyes and the lips. I love the hearts idea, but I just have learned that I can't write on my face for crap because like I just can't so all looks that I'm going to do in the future aren't going to involve writing because writing is so hard to do on the face especially because I have to write it backwards it's just like ew um but yeah this is the finished look I really hope you guys enjoyed I hope you were entertained um if you would like to recreate this and do a better job than me with the writing then go free be free I don't know <laughs> And you can go ahead and do that. Um, I got inspiration from Cole for this look and I'll be tagging him in my inspiration when I post this photo on my Instagram, which is lewis 2.0 if you don't know already. I would love if you go follow me. Um, but yeah, if you would like to recreate this, I would literally love to see it. So tag Larry Lewis look and I'll be checking out that tag and seeing if you guys recreate this or not. Um, but yeah, that's about it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, I would literally love if you give a massive thumbs up down below. Um, 
what are you going to do this Valentine's Day? Comment down below what your plans are. I'm hoping to have this up the day before Valentine's Day so people can watch it on Valentine's Day. Um, so let me know what you did, what you plan to do, if it goes up before Valentine's Day. Let me know. I'm interested. And if you haven't already, I would literally love if you'd subscribe. Um, I reached 450 followers and I promised someone on Instagram when I reach 450, I'm going to do a Q&A. So that is what I'm going to be filming straight after this video. Um, I think I just get rid of the hearts because they're really annoying. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, let me know down below and I'll answer them as well. And that is it. I really hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.